PSRE 2022, Paper 2, Question 13. You are aware that I'm using this acronym R-A-I-S-E, RACE, to solve all my work problems. PSRE work problems can be lengthy, can be tedious, and it can be very frustrating. After reading the entire question, we are still confused. So remember to read line by line, sentence by sentence, and when we read, we annotate at the same time. Annotation help us to pick up keywords. With the keywords, we should be able to identify the concept that is suitable to solve the word problem. Using the appropriate heuristics or concept we, and solve the problem, we get the answer. And don't forget to check our answer, our solution, and make sure it's correct. Checking means evaluating. We evaluate by using a different way of solving, a different concept, a different, a different heuristic to tackle the same problem. If both different style of solving gives us the same answer, we are good. If the answers are different, then we have to repeat the cycle by rereading, re-annotating and re-identifying. This is question 13. We are solving today, we are discussing today. It's about stacking up of identical building blocks. Question A is asking us to find the height H C M in each block. Now, when I read, I am aware that Lily has identical building blocks. Identical means each block used in tower A and tower B, they are exactly the same. That means it has the same length, breadth and height. Now take note, the block has a square base. That means length and breadth, they are of the same length. That means length and breadth of the block is they are the same, but height h is different. So we cannot assume that Lily has identical cubes. No, we cannot assume that it may be cuboids. All right, but we are very aware that each building block has the same capacity, the same volume. Now Lily used identical blocks to build tower A and tower B shown in figure 2 and figure 3 is actually the site view representation. Okay, let's begin. Now I'm going to begin by using figure 3, the site view, and I'm going to re-sketch. First and foremost, I have a line that says that, that represents the tabletop where the two towers are placed on. So I'm going to redraw uh, figure 2 right, using a site view. Right, but not like figure three, yeah, it's different. Okay, so I'm gonna draw and explain to you at the same time. Now I'm gonna draw tower A on the left. Now tower A, tower A looks like this. It has a standing rectangle, lying down rectangle, and it has a standing rectangle. That's tower A, and the height is 58 cm. All right, as shown in figure 3. Now, for tower B, it looks like this. A standing rectangle, two lying down rectangles, and two standing rectangles. And the height is 94. Okay, our job is to compare tower A and tower B. Let's do comparison now, okay? All right. If you look at tower A, tower A has this, tower B also, so that's identical. Tower A has lying down rectangle, same as this. Okay, and tower A has this, and tower B has this. So the one that I have crossed out means they all have the same, A and B. Now, the only thing that's different, and I'm going to highlight in yellow, is this. This is not found in tower A. All right, so I'm going to redraw that one that is highlighted in yellow on the same tabletop. So but I'm going to draw it upright. So the standing rectangle and lying down rectangle. This is this shape. 
all right i have rotated it and i put it this way now do you notice the one that i have highlighted is also here all right it's actually similar to tower a's standing rectangle and lying down rectangle so to find the height of yeah, to find the height of this new structure here, I can simply take 58 from tower A, subtract away, no, apology, I have to use tower B first, right? Okay, so let's take use tower B. So tower B, 94, subtract away tower A, I get 36. Now, what is 36? 36 is the highlighted in yellow. Right, it's actually the comparing A and B, right? The rectangle marked with purple X, the rectangle marked with green X, and the rectangle marked with red X. We are left with the highlighted two rectangles, right? And the two rectangles are found in the extreme right figure. It's actually the difference between 94 and 58. That gives us 36. Now, this highlighted in yellow uh, rectangles, right, 36 cm height, can also be found in tower A. So now I can use tower A to help me to find this. And this is from tower A. Okay? Alright, so I take... I can find the height easily by taking 58 from tower A minus away my 36 from here. I obtain 22. So H is 22 cm. So part A is done. Alright, remember to play back my video to have a better understanding what's going on i think it's always important to resketch your diagram do not use the diagram provided in the psle question sometimes it's good to resketch and when you resketch you are actually a, just like doing your own experiment on that psle question right it's making your thinking more visible i'm going to move on to part b but i must take note i need to use the value of h in my next slide now, in my next question, part B, I need to find the volume of each identical block. Okay, so we have already found that H is 22 cm. Okay? Alright, so what we need to do is, we are now going back to the question again. The, I, I hope you can remember this diagram. This one, remember? All right, this one is our 36, right? Okay, uh, for one, uh, I think you should be able to remember, recall if I do this. Oh, oh wrong color. Uh, remember this one? Right, this one helped us to get uh, our answer for part A, right? Okay, and this is uh, the one that we used in our previous slide. Now, I want to find... Uh, this give me a minute okay we already know that this is h and this is 22 so we want to find what is this this part okay now how to find this one super easy so this is done by using 36 minus 22 and that gives us our 14. all right so our answer is actually coming out soon huh? okay i'm going to resketch the wooden block Remember, it has a square base, and this is our height h, which is 14. This is our square base, okay? The length and the breadth are the same. You want to find the volume, right? Oh, wrong. Sorry. The height is not 14. The height, the height is already found in our part a, is 22. And then what is 14? 14 is actually 
each side of the square base. The square face, right? Each side. Remember, this one is when the identical block is lying down. Okay? Alright, so now we have the entire answer. So volume of each block would be length times breadth times height. So using our calculator, 14 times 14 times 22 gives us 4,312. And that is our answer for part B. 4,312 cubic cm. Part B is solved. The entire question 13 from the year 2022, paper 2, is completed. My next video would be on question 12. So remember to look out for it. Now, how do you know when it will be uh, shared, uploaded, posted. Very simple. Subscribe. Okay. So when you subscribe, you will be prompted that videos from my channel, they are already up in YouTube. Okay. I hope you like my today's video, my sharing. Click on the thumbs up. And remember to give me feedback so that I can do better in subsequent videos. Uh, I need your feedback. I need your sharing. Oh, feel free to clarify, feel free to ask me questions, pose some questions, and I'm very happy to help you. Okay, now, if you know of anyone that is uh, taking PSLE, share my video with, with them. Alright, okay. I really thank you for watching my video. I really thank you for supporting this channel, my channel. I hope all my videos are useful to you. This is Joseph signing off and I see you again. Thank you and goodbye. Take care.